ladies and gentlemen, this is Ms. Jermaine just creating another video that's going to walk you through our math notebooks that we're going to be using um, for each unit this year in math class. So ladies and gentlemen, if you look in your Google Classroom, it's going to be, um, it's not going to be under this exact um, topic. It'll be under our um that virtual week uh, less day three um, t heading, but you will be clicking on this unit one math notebook. If you click and you view your assignment, when we look at our assignment details page, um, we see that it actually does not have a due date here. If we look here, there's no due date. Over here is where it also says the due date. Um, this assignment does not have a due date because we will be working in it throughout the unit and I'm not gonna be collecting it at the end of the unit. This activity though will be handed in to me from time to time. So we will be turning it in for a sort of notebook check, which will be um, some sort of grade in power school. However, I depend, however I decide it'll be, it might be a test grade, it might be a homework grade, it might be a quiz grade, but we will be turning it in throughout the unit as we take our notes. We want to make sure that we are using this tool for us. So we have our, um, our title um, in our description. This is our digital math notebook. We'll be working in this unit. Uh, I, it will not be due. There, it does, will not have a due date, but you will be turning it in from me to time to time. Once again, you can put your private comments here. And if you click on it, it will create your own copy and it'll open it up as a slide presentation. Um, so as we wait for the slide presentation to load, we will see that we have a sort of digital math notebook. You will have an opportunity later on for homework to decorate this math notebook for you. Um, and you will have that opportunity to do that um, as we go in there. So when you are in your... <clears throat> <clears throat> When you open up your um, math notebook, you're going to see the front cover and you will have along the top and along the right side, we're gonna have tabs on it that you can use to go to certain lessons. So if we were to present this right now, you're gonna be putting your name on the front cover and your cohort number. And when you present it, if you actually click, so for example, lesson three plus four, it'll take you to those notebook pages that correspond to lessons three and four. To get back to your home page, you click this little house. And as you're in here, you can click through to different sections as well. So if you wanna look at your, your class tools, um, you can do that as well. So let me close out of this so you can, I can show you how we're going to be editing it and working with it this year. So we are going to have this um, front page here that will take you to all of your different lesson pages when you present it. And as you go through, you will have different slides. So this first red color is going to correspond to lessons one and two. If you look here, there are a number of text boxes that you can type in. In this right here, you are expected to write the date. So in the top left hand smaller box, you're expected to write the dates that we're working, the, the date that you're taking those notes in class. So for example, we're working on this nine slash 14 slash 2020, right? Wonderful. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to write the title of that lesson. So for example, this isn't going to be our first one. It's going to be, for example, finding slope, which is something we're going to be doing there. So every single day, whenever we're working on a note sheet, we want to put that date and we want to put a title for that um, date as well. So the way that we're going to be working on notes is I'm going to be presenting and going through these notes up on the smart board or in the video if we move to um, online learning. And you're going to be taking those notes as I go through. So for example, I could give you this word slope. Slope. And we would write down that definition, the rise, R-I-S-E, and run of a line. Okay. So once you have your notes that you're following along with me and typing in, 
you will have the opportunity to type it in as I type it on the board or as I show it to you on the board. Um, for those friends that maybe need a little bit of extra time or maybe aren't the fastest of typers, all of these notes that we're going to be taking this year, I'm also going to have a Word document or a copy of the slides with it already on it. And I will be sharing those with you through Classroom as well so that you can copy and paste things in as you go if we run out of time when we are um, going through. It's always going to be given to you in a Google Doc as well. Um, as we're working in here as well, um, we're also going to be given the opportunity to insert images that go along with it. So. Um, those will be given to you and shared with you through um, a Google Doc as well. So you'll go into the Google Doc, you'll copy the image, and then you'll paste it in here. I don't have one set up, so if I were to come over here and I wanted to insert a picture here, I could go insert. Um, I'm going to do one from the web because I don't have that um, queued up, which I probably should have. And I'm going to say slope. Okay. And this isn't necessarily the type of, oh, this is a good example right here. Um, and so when I'm talking about slope, if I want to uh, insert an image of something that will help us to understand what that vocab word is, I can always come in here and I can type my definition and copy and paste it into this document. I will show you how to copy and paste when we're in class itself, but for now, we have our definition, we have our image, and we're going to put it some, put it in our document so that we can keep going. If we wanted to add more uh, pieces here, we could, these are perfectly lined up with the lines on the paper. So if you just enter down until you get to that next line, and let's say I want to talk about what is my um, y equals mx plus b, that could be a form, and I would, right next to it, I could put my definition, the, an equation, for a line. It's not exactly what that is, but this is how our notes are going to look. And if when you're going in, you can always take the opportunity to, after class, come in here with like a highlighter or something and make these notes a little bit more pretty, um, but I'm going to sort of give you in class the sort of the bare minimum of what we're going to be doing with these notes. So we're going to have some vocab words, we're going to have some definitions, we're going to have some images that we're going to be inserting so that when we go to study for an assessment later on, everything we need is digitally all here and we can study really well and go through all of our notes for that whole unit in one spot without having to click between different presentations. <clears throat> so say um, I'm working on lesson one, no, I'm working on lesson, um, lesson numbers seven and eight, and I get to the bottom of my page and I still have more notes that I need to take. The way that we're going to add on new sheets of paper is we're going to come to this, this area in the corner here, this plus, but we're not going to click the plus. We're going to come next door to this drop down button, this little down arrow, and all of the templates for all of the different lessons are going to pop up. And we can click on the lesson. If you look at the bottom down below, it has our title. You can click in the bottom down below and you can insert a specific lessons extra slides. So I need an extra lesson eight and nine. So I click on that and right below, it's going to <clears throat> insert that um, page right here for me. So I have two of these guys now. So when I go back to look at it, I, it still will keep everything all in the right spot if I present it and I have my notes and I want to go through them and I say, I want to look at lesson number, um, for example, lesson number nine and lesson number 10. I can click that tab. It'll take me right there. But then, ooh, I want to look at lesson number one and lesson number two. I can click it and it goes right to where that slide is. The only trick, the only catch up is that when you, if you have multiple slides for lesson one and lesson two, for example, or this one we had um, multiple slides for seven and eight, it will take you when you click it to that first slide. So let me show you, for example, 
if I go to slide number five and I type, this is Miss Germain, when we are on our slide here and we present it, it will go to the first slide for that section. So it takes me right to this, uh, this is Miss Germain, that first slide for lesson seven and number eight. And then if I click there, it'll take me right back to that first slide. To get back to your home page, click your name, click that little house in the corner, and we will be able to get back to that home page. Guys, I hope this um, little video was helpful for you for navigating our digital notebook this year. Um, if you have questions about it, please feel free to reach out via email or call my um, number at the school and I can help you out. Um, have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for listening. Um, when I get back to that home page, you're also going to see that. So we have our tabs here for lessons one through eight C. 1 through 18. Sometimes some units we might not use all of them. Some units there'll be extra tabs if there's more lessons. Um, but you're always going to see at the bottom here this tab called class tools. And when you click that, depending on the unit, it will have it will take you to this last page here, which we're always going to include a nice um, multiplication chart. So in class, if you need a multiplication chart and you don't want to click out to go to a calculator, you can always come here and find this multiplication chart. This multiplication chart is going to be given to you in every single unit. We're going to be adding to this as the units go on, but it's going to be nice and simple the first few units. So we have a multiplication chart on our first page and on our second page we have a link to a calculator that we're going to use um, if you have if you are in an algebra class you're going to see a link here for two calculators one of them is going to be for a simple basic calculator which is going to do some nice um, simple calculations five times seven two to the seventh power all those simple basic math um, applicate or um, problems the second link that you're going to have down here is one for a scientific calculator, which we're going to be using for graphing um, things in Desmos. Um, we're going to go into more detail on that in class, but that will also be linked in here for you as well. So you're going to have a calculator and you're also going to have a multiplication chart. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this walkthrough video was helpful for you. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me and I can help you out if you need, if I can. Awesome. Thanks, guys.